What's up guys, Tommy here, back with a video. I'm just here off a Cambodian island. I'll leave some um, uh, shorts maybe, video shorts um, on my YouTube. And maybe I'll link my Instagram as well so you have a bit more um, a bit more content there so you can see this. But yeah, if you're ever traveling and you're in Cambodia, I'll definitely recommend the islands there. They're really nice, uh, Kai Rong and Kai Rong San Luan. Um, yeah, lovely islands, really hot at the moment though. But in this video, I wanted to speak about a few ways to um, develop yourselves, really develop yourselves, um, grow grow yourselves as, a, as people, as a person. And I've just come up with the main ways um, how I think you can do that. The first one, I'm going to follow on a little bit from my last video, if you saw that, and it was about uh, encouraging you guys to travel, really. Um, I believe it's kind of better to do it in another country or another continent, which is why I've gone to Asia. Um, this way you can experience a new culture, um, you can meet new people, um, experience, experience a new environment. And um, yeah, everyone you meet is kind of on similar similar wavelengths. Um, everyone's a bit freer. They're kind of they're traveling. They're, they're living really. They, they want experiences. They want to enrich themselves with that. And um, yeah, they they want to meet people and experience new things. And you can grow together with people doing that. Um, you can do this anywhere you want. Um, you can if you're a Western or say you're from Europe. You can even you can even do it in your own country really. Um, I think as long as you're kind of getting out of what, uh, your your current environment, if you've been doing that a long time and you've kind of you felt like with your, your your current town that you've been living in for a while, maybe all your life, you kind of you kind of learn everything you you can learn about it, and um, you can learn from it, and you, you kind of want to move on. And I think that's definitely a healthy thing to do. I think it's definitely a constructive and positive positive thing to do, and it's gonna it's gonna improve your fulfillment and. Um, help enrich yourself with experiences in the long run. Um, so yeah, massively important. You can, do it, you can do it around Europe maybe. I know some people go to South America, um, whichever you like, whichever, whichever place is calling you. And if you've got responsibilities, maybe try and work around that. Obviously, if you've got things where you really, really can't go, then yeah, I can't help you with that one. But um, if you can work around it or you've got family or responsibilities, maybe you could, even if it's just for a few weeks or, you know, occasional breaks here and there. Um, one thing I w will say about that is, um, so someone I, I follow, a content creator called Jack Hopkins, he mentioned to me, um, on a video, he said, um, you know, where do you, or when is it where you come up with all your um, new ideas and um, new opportunities and have new experiences? Is it when you're stuck in the same place, same environment, around the same people, or is it in new environments that you haven't been in before, where you, where all these ideas come to you and um, opportunities and, and meeting new people? And uh, yeah, that resonated a lot with me. And um, yeah, I certainly think it's a question we should all ask ourselves um, because yeah, it's definitely when it's definitely when you're in these kind of new. Uh, unknown uh, environments and territories where you you learn a lot about yourself and you have all these new experiences and meet new people following on from that i just wanted to say put yourself out there um so just even if you're still at home or in a country where you, you're not sure you want to be or you're traveling put yourself out there wherever that is in real life face to face um importantly look people in the eye interact with them Approach women if you're men. Approach women. Don't be afraid to do that. Talk to them, and just network with people in general. Um, you never know, never know who you're going to meet and how they're going to they can serve you and how you can help them. Um, you know, I've met so many people since travelling, um, and even even when I was in the UK, and you, you never know who it's going to be, and they can you know you can really um, you know feed off each other and. Um, you know, there's people that you wouldn't expect that can help you. So yeah, never be afraid to, you know, look people in the eye and have a conversation with them and, and approach them and start a conversation with them, um, man or woman. Um, yeah, put yourself out there and you'll find all kind of opportunities, you know, work, maybe work related, um, things you didn't know about something, maybe about travel, um, you know, information that is useful to you. So yeah, put yourself out there. 
and yeah, never be afraid to speak to people. And that, that can I just say, um, something uh, Robert Greene, the author mentioned, um, that will determine, well, your relationships will determine um, your success, your um, your fulfillment in life. Um, you know, if, you, if you're around negative people um, and, you know, low vibrational people compared to, or opposed to as if you were around abundant, um, abundant thinkers, um, positive people, people that um, can really help you grow and you can grow grow with, um, that's gonna be detrimental to your fulfillment and success. You know, your relationships with other people. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something you should take seriously and identify who those people are. Um, there's a saying that, you know, there's some people you, um, some people you grow apart from, some people you, um, grow, grow with, grow together with, and uh, yeah, you need to identify who they are. Uh, next, um, I wanted to mention something I did uh, this morning. Actually, I'll, I'll put in there is um, is meditation and um, and prayer. Um, I haven't been doing as much prayer since I've been travelling. If I'm honest, mainly because I haven't been able to find you know, the best place to do it. You're always in sort of a, a hostel or a hotel with hard floor, maybe. Um, so I haven't really done that as much, but certainly meditation I've been doing a bit recently and I think that's really good to, to you, know, you know, recharge yourself, refresh yourself and um, yeah, raise your, uh, increase your vibration. Um, so definitely consider that and have faith, prayer, you know, ask your subconscious um, questions that you're unsure of, where your skills lie, um, what sort of relationships you want, what sort of, what's your purpose, ask your subconscious mind that and we probably shouldn't even call it our subconscious because it's, it's, it knows everything i believe it's um it's, it's god if you like you, you kind of ask you ask it your questions you need aren't answering and um it knows everything so it'll, it'll reveal it to you um in good time so just be patient and understanding about that that's what i believe anyway the next thing i will say um is this one I'm going to just go over a bit brief. It was it was about diet, diet, um, exercise, and sleep that we'll, we'll just put together. But um, I just want to go over this briefly because I did already do a video on this about ways to boost boost your health, and these ones were included in that. Um, with diet, just avoid processed foods. And I'm not um, I'm not a saint with with uh, with food, and I'm not I'm not perfect. I, I don't think many many people really are. I don't think anyone really is with that. Some are better than others. And um, to be honest with me, if I'm honest with myself, I've been looking into this for a, for a long time now, or a few years now at least, and um, I'm still a bit um, unsure on the perfect diet and the optimal diet. You know, maybe it isn't something that it can never be perfect or it's something that is difficult in this day and age and where we're at, it's difficult to do perhaps, um, to have like a optimal diet, perhaps, you know, things have, you know, changed and we've been maybe moved from our original environment, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, maybe it's not something that's um, black and white. Um, but I will just say, avoid processed foods, try and go more natural, you know, plants, genuine plants. Um, and if you are eating meat, just try and make it, try and question where it's coming from. And um, yeah, if, if it's really clean and clean and that, obviously drink, drink water um, and yeah, that, that, that's really it with that. I'm going to make another video about um, eating meat because I, I, I try to avoid meat, um, eating meat as well. I don't think we were really supposed to be eating the animal flesh. As I say, I don't really judge people for doing it. I actually haven't completely cut it out, to be honest. So um, yeah, I'm not going to pretend I'm, you know, I'm not promoting veganism or um, or anything like that. I think that's another uh, thing that's also used a little bit to confuse people. Um, a little bit um because there's i think there's some there's some plants that are hard for us to break down as well like some vegetables i can tell when i'm eating them you're chewing them a lot um trying to break it down in your mouth and then you can tell it's it's, it's a lot for your body to break down and your body can't really digest some things properly and that's certainly the case with some veg and um it's the same with, with grains as well um like that are unsprouted so it's you know there's a lot of bad out there but generally just trying to avoid processed things and, and fast food and, and you know, high sugar content and things. Just try and keep it as simple as you can. But I'm going to make a separate video on that, um, about meat, about eating meat. So I don't think that's something we're really supposed to do, but you know, 
you put in a situation where you, you may have to, I don't, I don't know. So um, it's up to you to decide, but just try and keep it as clean as possible and as natural. Um, exercise, obviously, I don't even think you should have to exercise every day. If you're an athlete and you've, you're, um, and you know, to keep on top of it and to, you know, outcompete your opponent, fair enough. Um, but I mean, exercising or going extreme every day for me probably isn't even, might not even be optimal. I think trying like twice, three, four times a week, maybe, um, for me, I think that's like more than enough, particularly if it's high intense work. Um, but yeah, just as long as you, you, you're moving about a lot. Uh, with exercise, I just wanted to say, I like doing explosive things sometimes, maybe sprinting, maybe squat jumps, trying to fit that in there occasionally, as well as a little bit of cardio as well. Um, explosive things you can do in the gym as well. You can do a bit of weights, maybe squats and stuff. Um, but sports are really good for that as well, like um, football. You like sprint, sprinting a lot, it's, it's, it's quite explosive. Um, but yeah, sports is a, a good way to keep fit. That's good for cardio. You, you've got football. You've got any sport really, but ones that I was doing football. Um, obviously, you can do like running for cardio, but um, like martial arts and combat sports, you have to be fit to do that. Like wrestling, included in that as well. Um, that's some really good stuff for your cardio um, that you can do. Um, or you can do any sport. You know, tennis, whatever. Um, yeah, sport's good because you, you you kind of you're immersed in it when you're, you're doing sport. You kind of you're in the zone. You're not thinking about too much when you're doing a team sport or a, or you're in a, a combat sport or a fight. It's um you know it's, it's a good way to it's, it's kind of like a meditation. You're not worrying about other shit that's going on. It's good to it's good for your mind because you you focus. You have to be focused in it. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna lose or you're gonna get hurt if it's if it's a combat sport. Um. And also following on from that, I think I did mention in my last video, but trying to um, trying to move about as much as possible, and not just going for walks, but also stretching and and um, like biomechanic movements. Um, I mentioned before, stretching, moving your body, doing like sort of dynamic stretches, get really getting to know your body. Um, for me, it's for me it's my hamstrings are, are quite are fairly tight. Um, I think that's purely just from like lifestyle, like say you're sitting sitting down. Like I was on a, on, on a boat um, uh, the day before last. Oh no, it was yesterday. I was on a boat and I could feel my hamstrings because they're constantly they're constantly relaxed. And that's not it's not a natural position to be sitting down. Some of you might get it in, in cars or, or long journeys. Um, also office jobs as well. If you're sitting down, just if you're just sitting down for a while, that's not good for you. And that that, that affects your um, your whole body because it's all connected and that will affect your back your spine um so yeah understand what it is for you that's just my example understand what it is for you what you the things you need to be doing and um yeah just try and keep moving about and and doing things that um, allow your body to be in natural positions working it working your body slightly the different things even just like i'm out here by some rocks like just walking about on these rocks would be like very good for your um, your muscles because you, you, you're moving. It's, it's not. Um, it's not completely flat here. So you, you're moving about. It's going to be activating different muscles, basically, in your legs and stuff. It's going to improve your balance. So things like that. It's, it's just an example I thought of just now. But um, yeah, hiking, any anything like that um, will be good for your body. And um, last thing was was sleep. Obviously, just get enough got enough sleep. Um, I think generally like seven and a half, eight hours or so around that. But if you just get a bad night's sleep, you see these are kind of obvious things, this is why I'm just touching on them briefly. But um, if you get a bad night's sleep, um, well, you, you don't want to sabotage your sleep at, at any cost. It, I know there's, there's a bit of a hustle culture around that, um, but you, to, to operate at an optimal um, level, function properly, heal properly, repair properly, think, think clearly think properly um focused in order to actually be able to focus your energy levels you know your hormones sleep really affects all of this so take it seriously and um don't sabotage it for anything um you know some people might do it with work or or maybe they stay up too late or whatever and you know watch too much tv or on their phone for too long but this is something that you um or maybe have like caffeine and things or drugs 
um, that keep them up and that, that's that's just really bad, really bad for you and you're just suppressing your growth and it's, it's detrimental to your health. It's really important sleep. Um, but that's, it's, it's kind of common sense, but I'll, I'll say it anyway. Um, just, just following on from that as well, I just wanted to mention, um, there are people that, um, just in terms of health, pe people have this um, mindset of, they want to, usually they want to lose weight and they put losing weight and they're really proud of themselves if they've lost a bit of weight. So I was, yeah, I just had to cut that there. Um, ran out of storage on my phone, so I had to just clear a bit of space. It's a bit annoying. But um, I was just speaking about um, health. We just covered diet, um, sleep and exercise. And I just was following on from it and said, some people have this mindset. Um, I have two examples of um, people I know, I've known for a long time that, that have this. Um, they have this mindset of uh, losing weight and they, they prioritize this over their, over their health really. I, they, I don't think they really know they do this, but they, they prioritize losing weight so much and they're, they're really happy. And they, they, they talk about it a lot, like, I've lost so much weight. And it's like um, these two two individuals I was thinking um, thinking of in particular, they're quite, um, they can be quite emotionally draining actually. And um, they certainly don't have the healthiest or abundant mindsets. Um, they're almost quite limited in that sense and um, I just feel like it doesn't count for much if if your mindset sucks basically and um, yeah it, it doesn't really matter if you've lost weight if, if yeah if, if your mindset's poor it doesn't really it doesn't really mean anything you, you're not if you're not an abundant person it's losing weight should be something um, that is a result of you being healthy and there was someone I used to watch. I'm not sure if he's still around now, a doctor called Robert Morse from, I think he was from the States. Um, he, he was a doctor about, um, he spoke a lot about diet and health, but he always said the um, the aim should be to be healthy, not to lose weight. And um, that's something I wanted to mention and just um, be clear about because there's a lot of people that I think um, think that losing, that if they lose weight, it, it's therefore healthy and it's not. Um, you might be healthy, you might you might be healthy, you might be an abundant person and be slightly overweight or underweight. I know people look at me and sometimes think I'm quite slim, but I know that's just my natural, I mean, if you come here to Asia, a lot of the, a lot of the men are kind of a similar, a similar shape. They don't go gym to get big. And if, if anything, that's, um, that's a slightly different thing, but I was going to mention that that's, that's, I think a bit of an unhealthy thing because it's going to catch up to you in the long run, I think. You know, like bodybuilders and have, they have these obscene diets and they have, you know, acne with all the toxic stuff trying to come out their face. And, you know, some people even take steroids in order to look good. And they put they prioritise this over their health. Obviously, if you take steroids, it's going to fuck up your hormones. You know, eating high calorie content, it's, it's just not good for you in the long run. It's going to have an effect on all, all your body hormones you know your organs your heart and everything you know your liver and your, your gut it's, it's gonna it's just gonna fuck you up basically um so yeah don't have this persona of looking good looking in shape look it's nice to look we, we want to look good we want to look clean we want to look smart we want to look healthy but more importantly we want to be these things you know what i mean don't stress out looking about it too much actually be healthy be smart be clean um and then yeah you can you know you can you can put looking good as a as a um as a secondary priority after being healthy it should be being healthy should be your main priority and the things i'm, I'm mentioning and i've mentioned should be um are the main things in regards to that and that should be that should be of your highest priority there um even one example i'll just quickly say um a cleaner at someone's house she um was speaking about um getting it i think it was it was having an operation for losing weight and it's it's just absurd to me it's people people go to crazy lengths they, they they'll they'll like take caffeine pills they'll um they'll take cocaine um they'll smoke and it's like oh yeah i'm kind of losing weight or at least i'm losing weight kind of thing and it's just like you, you kind of you put in your health you, you see it's, it's at the extent of your own health and that's you know that's 
it's, it's a mental illness really if you, if, you, if that's kind of your, your mindset on it you, you think that's what you should be doing basically and that's the way you think it is a mental illness um, unfortunately um, probably similar to you know steroid use and um, just looking you know like just being incredibly kind of almost narcissistic or um, arrogant about your own image I think it's okay yeah, it's nice to have a good image I'm not saying that you should want to look I think good to an extent or look clean look healthy but you need, you need to you need to take care of your own health first you can't do all that um, to the extent of your own health and I think it is a, is a mental illness actually there that society has um, also a lot of people try and count their steps and they're overly obsessive about their steps but they in other areas they don't look up maybe they'll, they'll sort of you know be a they'll, they'll drink a lot of alcohol but like you know they'll, they'll care about a lot about the steps and then they'll they'll drink a load of alcohol basically and it's kind of like it just counteracts it completely it just doesn't you focus on too much on something i think it comes from a good place if i'm honest like good intentions i suppose but you kind of need to you need to look out for the things that um are really are really fucking you up or really destroying your health and um alcohol and drugs and um yeah yeah poor diet is is, is um is paramount and is is really important um in terms of that so that was a that was that was about diet health and sleep uh the next the next point i wanted to mention so if we're going on a bit there i just wanted to clear that up because a lot of people do think like that the next part i want to mention is um working on a project um so this is back to how to grow and develop yourself. Uh, there's, a, there's a quote that, um, you know, if you follow your heart, you're always winning. And it, it's true, I think. If you're working on something that you're passionate about, let's say it's YouTube, doing some YouTube videos, creating content. Um, I will say about that, though, if you're creating, if you're growing a, so, a personal brand or you're posting on social media, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. You know, spreading a positive message, helping people develop themselves maybe, or you're putting out information that people need to be aware of, and um, you're sharing your experiences that people, a lot of people, or most people don't have, and it might go against, it might even go against YouTube, maybe. It might go against what most people think, and I've seen a lot of that content, and it's definitely, you know, an open-mindedness I think we all need in order to really preach the truth um, and it's, it's really important stuff so make sure if you are creating a personal brand or doing something on social media make sure you're doing it for the right reasons there was a couple of girls I met uh, traveling and um, they were these um, they were these girls from the UK they would have Instagrams you know 8,000 10,000 followers um, each you know um, and they'd, it'd be all of their all of them in their bikini and stuff and it kind of they're kind of selling themselves they're selling themselves short they're kind of almost selling out a little bit in a way um you know selling their soul in a sense in order to grow a bit of popularity and in that case i don't, I, I do not believe it's worth it at all um and yeah we should be very um very cautious about that and that we need to identify what we're doing it for is it just to grow a brand and grow some popularity or is it to do that and as help as many people as we can and um is it for our own genuine genuine personal growth um or are we just trying to build a following and, and get some attention um because that's if it's just for attention it's you know a low form of um like you know trying to get section sexual attention off males or um you know just clowning about on the internet then um you know you do that if you want i'm not going to stop you but um i wouldn't say that's the most the best reasons to do it for so make sure you have your reasons and understand why you're doing it if you're going to do that other projects you could be working on sport if you're interested in the sport maybe you play football my brother plays football my younger brother and um, that's certainly something that he's passionate about um but it could be any sport um um music that's another good one um, it might be, yeah, it might be an instrument, it might be singing, it might be, you know, um, producing music in a, in a way. Um, or it might, yeah, just be, you know, making content about something or um, maybe just maybe just a, a job that you really like. It might be cooking or something or, 
yeah, it might be the job you do that you really like and you, you, you're in on that and you're helping people and you're serving people in a way that, you know, is, is, your, is your role and your purpose. Um, you know, your, your project and your passions might be something that I haven't mentioned. Probably, hopefully it is maybe something I haven't mentioned. Um, you know, this is something that's um, personal to you and you should, uh, you should have a think about that and think what you, what you really enjoy doing and what you're genuinely interested in. And that's how you'll find um, what it is you're, 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 you're calling. And you might have a, a couple of things you like to do. Um, it might be to do with business, you know? So it could be anything really. Um, be honest with yourself about what this thing is. And this is really good for you because it, um, it's gonna, we're all different and we're all, I think, you may, maybe it's the case that we're all certainly geared towards certain things and we're certainly more adept to do um, particular things because of our personalities and the way we operate differently. Some people might be maybe a bit more good at leading or some people you know, might be more interested in, in music or developing something, whereas some people can sing and you know, some might be very good at sport and some might be good at another sport or whatever it is. Some might be good at public speaking and, and making content. So, so whatever it is, some might be good at, um, like maybe it's a doctor or something and they're good at, they're good at, um, they're good at what they do and they, they, they really help people and heal people and um, make sure everyone's, you know, they're, they're a surgeon or something and they, they, do, they do all that kind of stuff. Um, that's saving people basically or it could be public speaking it could literally be anything really that's up to for you to decide but that's really going to help you find your, your you know your purpose and your goals and where you, where your skills lie so yeah never give up on your dreams basically whichever it is and this is um it's different for each individual it's specific to you and the, the last thing i'll mention is um just re remaining open-minded i think generally not to say you can't have some core beliefs. I think it's definitely good to have your core beliefs, you know, your, your principles, um, have those and decide what they are for you. But um, I think it's, it's really important to be open-minded to an extent and at least understanding of people and developing a patience for people and their views because the fact is some of your views might not be true some of your opinions your beliefs might might be false and if, if you can't um if you can't see that and that is the case for you then it's you know, there's nothing worse than someone with this you know blissful ignorance and to be around them and them to, to be be draining and you have to sugarcoat everything for them because they can't they can't develop an understanding because they're you know they're they've got too much of an ego and too much pride that they can't be open-minded and you know, take on board new ideas and, you know, question their beliefs. And I think in the, in the world we're living in today, if you haven't questioned your, some of your core beliefs um, at any point, then, you know, the chances are you're probably, you're probably confused or mixed up about things. Um, there's a lot of deception out there, for sure. That, that's, that's an understatement saying that. And um, there's a lot to be confused by. Um, so yeah, it's certainly something to consider. Um, and that, yeah, that's really important. And, and to, fi uh, to finish off, um, just step out of your comfort zone a bit. You know, don't be afraid to try new things. It sort of um, interacts a little bit with the first point I mentioned about putting yourself out there, but certainly put yourself out there. But, but anything that you think you might want to get into, maybe it's music. For me, it was, um, it was when I was in the UK, it was, it was combat sport. It was, it was martial arts and wrestling because I'd never really done it before and I knew that's something that I, I felt like I needed to do you know, a bit of sparring and boxing something that um you know you have to pluck up the courage to do and go to your first session maybe it might just be doing some exercise going to the gym it might be speaking in public it might be singing in public um but don't be afraid to try new things um and really really push yourself and step out of your comfort zone um, when it comes to things that are going to truly benefit you um, if things don't serve you and that they drain you of your energy and um, it's not for your greater good, I get it. But if it's something that you're holding off for a reason, it's because you're, it's because of lack of coverage, it's because you're a bit scared, but it is, you know, it's probably, it will affect your, um, improve your, your growth and your development by facing that adversity. 
um, a short term adversity and it's going to improve your development, personal development in the long run, then it's something you really need to um, face. Basically, it's, it's something you need to face and combat and and really do. And you know, if it's something you've been thinking about for a little bit, just get on and do it. it it'll be different again for each people, uh, for each person. For me, it might be a sort of social thing, you know, approaching people. Um, yeah. Um, Maybe maybe some combat sport or something. Um, yeah, you know, maybe maybe singing in public or something. Maybe I don't know. It's, it, mine's probably a bit more of a social thing, but for, for people, it's, it's it's different. So you know, make sure you you're identifying what your weaknesses are and being honest with yourself and being transparent with yourself and coming away and thinking about it and thinking, okay, yeah, next time we'll we'll do this, then we'll just we'll just do it and we'll, we'll you know we'll approach more people, we'll approach more women, whatever it is, um, and just yeah face those demons of yours okay we're gonna have that's that's finished thanks for watching guys i really really appreciate that i appreciate your time i'm gonna end it there and i will so we're gonna uh, hopefully have some more videos coming and we will have some more videos coming and podcasts as well and um, i might leave a link to my instagram as well so you can uh, check that out my travel some of my travel content as well um so yeah thanks for that guys and i'll see you in the next one